Yo, what is good, Lock'em Up Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger. Now, you see, man, MVP Derrick Rose once again. Some of you might have subscribed to me off of my first Derrick Rose video. Now, it did very well. It got a lot of love, but at the same time, it got a lot of disputes. A lot of people saying it wasn't exactly like MVP Rose. And you know what? I can see their point. So, I thought I'd make an updated version of the build. Now, it was basically like a shooter's version of Derrick Rose. You know, I made him like, you could kind of play like Derrick Rose and you'll get the comparison to Derrick Rose, but you'll have a very consistent jump shot. But I know a lot of you don't really care about consistent jump shots. You just want to dunk on people, be great slashers. And a lot of you don't care about record. So, you know what? It is perfect. But... Don't get me wrong, you're still, you can still be really comp and win a high percentage of your games. I'm not saying that just because you're a slasher that you're not going to win a high percentage of your games. But this build is definitely more similar to MVP Derrick Rose than the other one that I posted. If you want to check out the other one, you know, if you want a Derrick Rose a build that compares to Derrick Rose with a high shooting rating, definitely check that out. But we're about to get into the build. But first, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on post post notifications. You see how close we are to 6K. You know, I really want that 6K. I want it bad. So please hit that subscribe button. Also, like the video. You know, it's got 50 likes. That's the goal for every video. And, you know, if you want to follow me on Twitch, I've been slacking. But I'm about to get back on it. I'm about to start uploading Among Us and stream Among Us too. So if you're interested in that, you know. Yeah, subscribe and follow me on Twitch. But yeah, you see it right here. Name up to you. Point guard, obviously. Right handed, obviously. Derek Rose, make him number one if you want. 11 is my favorite number, so I'm going number 11. So you're going to go with this half yellow, half blue pie chart. That's half playmaking, half finishing. You're going to go with the half speed, half vertical. So half pink, half purple. So yeah, for attributes. Close shot all the way up, driving layup all the way up, driving dunk all the way up. And this stuff you're going to leave the same. Mid range all the way up. Derrick Rose was a good mid range shooter, he still is. Not so much three point shooter. See, this is why in the other video I made him the way that I did. But a lot of people really were preaching about the finishing. So this is, you know, if you care more about finishing, this is the build. If you care more about shooting, check out the other Derrick Rose build. But this is how we're making them. Free throw. We're going to move up to an 82. You know, you want to have shooting badges. And we're not going to touch the post feed. His accuracy. Derrick Rose wasn't much of a passer. And, you know, yeah. If you want to be compared to Derrick Rose, then, yeah, you got to make him like this anyway. Derrick Rose has one of the best handles ever. So, yeah, 91, you know, he has one of the best crossovers. You're not going to touch post moves. 19 point making badges is good enough. Defense, interior, perimeter, lateral, steal, all the way up. Defensive rebound, all the way up. You got attributes left over. I'm going to move up my block to get that extra defensive badge. These badges looking pretty nice. And with nine shooting badges, even with these low ratings, if you know your jump shot, then you know, you're going to be able to do some damage. And I've always cracked, you know, make fun of me in the comments if you want. Body type doesn't really matter. I'm going to go build, you know, do whatever you want with that. That doesn't really matter. Height, 6'3". That's what I want to do. And I believe Derrick Rose is 6'3". So, yeah, 6'3", I think is the best height for this build. Weight, all the way down. That way you get extra speed, acceleration. Straight doesn't matter on a point guard. And you still have 88 vertical. And take into account the drills in the gym. So you're going to have way higher speed than this. Invert than this. You're going to be jumping out the gym. You're going to be 6'3", bodying people. So, yeah. Now, in order to be compared to Derrick Rose, I've been testing this. If you keep your wingspan the same or you max it, you're not going to get the Derrick Rose comparison. If you really care about being compared to Derrick Rose, move your wingspan all the way down. I'm going to show you in a second. Obviously, Derrick Rose slashing takeover. That should just go without saying. But, there you have it, QFL Slasher, Shades of Derrick Rose, Kevin Johnson, and Jay Moore. I'm kidding, John Moran, I know, I'm making fun of Swante. But, yeah, Swante's making a fight, whatever. But, 
Now let me just show you something real quick. You see you got the Derrick Rose comparison. I'm going to show you with the max wingspan. You're not going to get the Derrick Rose comparison. But if you max out your wingspan. Look you get contact dunks off rip. You know. So slash and take. Look you're not going to get the Derrick Rose comparison. Unfortunately. C. Francis. Damian Lillard. Jay Morant. Just kidding. John Morant once again. But I think this is the best way to make this build. I recommend you make the build like this. But if you really, really care about the Derrick Rose comparison, which no one in the park's going to see what your build compares to. It shouldn't really matter. But I know a lot of people care about the shades of insert NBA player's name. So, yeah. Minimum wingspan compared to Derrick Rose. Max wingspan for the best version of this build. Alright. But... Let's get into the badges. Alright, for finishing, Derrick Rose is one of the best, if not the best, wild shot maker ever. So you gotta give him Hall of Fame acrobat. Consistent finisher, Hall of Fame. You know, most of your layups are gonna be late, especially if you don't use the meter, which I recommend not using the meter on this build. So yeah, consistent finisher, Hall of Fame. Derrick Rose, poster machine, finish through contact, great. Hall of Fame contact finisher. I would also say relentless finisher. Derrick Rose, great, one of the best hop steppers, you know. That's actually how he tore his ACL, I believe. So, yeah. But fancy for gold or Hall of Fame, whatever you want to do. And the rest is honestly up to you. Pro he was good at winning contact, so you probably want to do slurry finisher. This is actually really good. Hop steps with these badges is actually pretty good. Not like 2K20, but still pretty good. I mean, I still see some people hop stepping. Slashers do get some good hop step animations. Shooting. Derrick Rose didn't have range like that, but you're going to want to have gold range extender just to have the best chance of making threes as possible. Hot zone hunter. You already know. Hot zones help you make shots once you get hot zones. Derrick Rose did have some dead eye, but on this build, people probably aren't going to play defense on you like that. So, you know, most people are going to play back, so I don't think dead eye is necessary. So, the rest of this is honestly up to you. You can probably do some catch and shoot. You know, you want to get some ball movement. So, that way, uh,. You can move the ball, and if you get a catch and shoot with the badge, you have a great chance of making the shot. And catch and shoot is the best way to shoot. Maybe you can go flexible or release. That way, you get a great chance of making whites. It actually works on slightlys, and yeah, slightly early, slightly late. Flexible release works on those. So yeah, that actually, I think that's a good setup. Actually, Derrick Rose had one of the greatest quick first steps. So quick for step ball, of Amy, super explosive. Handles for days, he did have handles for days. Plus stamina is trash, you definitely want to have that on. Ankle breakers were in the game in patch 3. So, Hall of Fame ankle breaker for sure. Hall of Fame space creator. Gold unpluckable. I think that's a good setup. You can do tight handles if you want, but I don't think tight handles really does anything. Defense, clamps, just to be the best defender possible. Interceptor, intimidator, made some pickpocket. And the last one, honestly, up to you. Probably pick dodge or a rim protector. We'll do rim protector for now. So there's the updated Derrick Rose build. I hope you guys like this better than the other build. The other build did get a lot of love. But I know a lot of people had an issue with how I didn't put enough finishing on them. But you get Derrick Rose comparison with the minimum wingspan. But with the max wingspan, you get the max potential in my opinion. But... Look at all those finishing badges. You know, you still got the playmaking, the defense. It's pretty all around, actually. You know, if you know your jump shot, you could be real deadly with this build. But, like the video if you enjoyed. Drop a nice comment. You know, if you have any disputes about this build, questions, anything like that, let me know. I'm open to all opinions, and I answer all questions. Also, like the video if you enjoyed. I think I said that already. I don't even know. And, you know, hit that subscribe on turn on post ball notifications. Road to 6K. We're so close. I want it bad, man. Please hit that subscribe on, especially if this helped, man. I would really appreciate it. And plus, you can always unsubscribe. But, here's some videos in the end screen. I appreciate the support. Until next time, I am out. Peace!